Hello everyone, this is Chromanim, and welcome back to our Ecologist run in Stalker Gamma. This will be episode uh, 10, I think, which is really awesome, we got 10 episodes. So, uh, last episode, we started out in Dead City, a bit higher, Dead City, went through army warehouses, got some stashes, went through raw stock garbage, did some missions, we gave Hip the Taws, we found the Taws for Hip, so now we have to get um, 8 Snort Hens, which will be difficult, but after that uh, she will join us, which will be really awesome, because I still didn't find a companion. Then we came to the Great Swamp, we did the artifact missions here, and we actually got the next mission, which will be in uh, Agroprom. Unfortunately, the artifacts and ar the anomalies in Agroprom, one of them will inflict very heavy Psy damage, and I'm not sure we're ready for it. But until then, we still have a few missions to do in the Great Swamps. We have a golden stash down here, which I would like to check. And uh, of course, I wouldn't mind getting some uh, reputation with Clear Skies, because it is a NATO faction, and seeing as we're based in Dead City with the Mercs, we will probably be doing the rounds between uh, Dead City Freedom and Clear Skies uh, to get um, NATO weaponry and bullets. So I'd prefer to have them all up. Now, uh, of course, I would also prefer to have the duty guys level up well, just because Rostock is central to the zone, more or less, and I would like to be able to get missions from there. Right, so if you like this series, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and also drop a comment with anything you think or you might like to see in the future when it comes to this, this series. I honestly can't wait to start doing the Agroprom Underground part. And of course, uh, also the uh, follow-up mission, which is to clear Agroprom for the scientists, but I'm kind of scared about it, at least with the gear we have now. Uh, we did find a um, Seva suit which I might fix up. I'm not sure if it's better than the Voyager, but uh, the Voyager is kind of limited on upgrades. And I think the Seva suit is a bit better. But until then, there will still be a while. So right now, let's start first by going to the stash over here. I actually might keep my detector out just because there was a Psy storm very recently and uh, you, you never know where artifacts can spawn after a Psy storm. Sometimes they only spawn anom anomalies, I mean anomaly fields that are known, usually they always respawn there. But they can also sometimes appear just in the middle of the road, so um, I'll just keep it out in case. Let's see what we have here. A TOS 34. This is just horrible and I don't want it. A TOS 106, not much better. A CS1 body armor. Useless gunsmithing tools, I'll just sell those to a mechanic. Right, so unfortunately we didn't have the best of luck with this stash. Let's move there and start moving south. From there, we can actually take everything. And you know what? I might even go through the pumping station. Do we have any more water? We do have some. Oh, I missed the bridge. That's all right, though.
Okay, I'm hearing some dogs in the distance, but uh, we've already been here and we kind of cleared the area out. Oh, another emission. Uh, I'm not sure where we can hide this time. In the military base, honestly. Can we reach it in time though? The gun away. I, I could chug a Hercules. Uh, it's, it's, it's close. And I should be friendly with them. Unless it's taken over by something else. Come on, come on, come on. We can make it. Okay, safe. There's actually no one here, which is uh, very interesting. Okay, the emission's over. So let's be on our merry way, deal with the mutants that we have to deal with. You know what I really like about emissions. Well, when the emission ends, the clear sky. Little pun for you, since we're in the Great Swamps anyway. <laughs> okay, it looks like there's dogs, cats. Oh, I thought I could get it with those... Oh. Hear it. Or did I get it? Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, there's one more thing there. And zombies. That's dead. Okay. And we can pull out the sidearm for the zombies. Okay, um... A little bit dark, but uh, it will get better. Um, hello? Okay. There we go. Got scared for a moment there. Okay, where is this? Oh, it's that, um... Little town with the rats running around. Dogs. A little bit spray and pray there, but uh, it worked out. Right, what's next on the list? It's escorting the ecologists right here. We're gonna be pretty close to the pumping station. I'll stay on HP for now, but once we get a bit closer, if there's no mutants, I might uh, switch to uh, FMJ. Let's see, okay, straight down and to the right. Here's some dogs in the distance. And I have a cat on my desk. <laughs> okay, 
I don't see any renegades up there on top. Oh, there's one. Hopefully he won't spot us. Парни, все делаем в темпе. Чем раньше закончим, тем целее будем. Okay, he's gonna start working here and we're just gonna wait for it. There we go. And hopefully the guys at the pumping station won't notice us. Okay, so our friend here finished his uh, his uh, uh, readings, and I'm just gonna go. You know what? I'll I'll go around the pumping station. Actually, I don't think I want to mess with renegades. I was thinking we could assault it, but honestly, it's uh, it's not our thing. Okay, we have bombs here. Of course, one of them got us. Oh, sun. Interesting. I should keep my detector out. I keep forgetting. Ooh. I did not notice the second one. Oh, there goes another bandage. But that should be alright. Okay. Where was the next mission? Here. Hmm. I'd still like to keep a distance from the pumping station, so I'm gonna go around a little bit. I think. Oh, it's this way. Oh, mini maps always a little bit weird uh, here in the swamps. Problem is, there might be some renegades at this base here sometimes. Oh, there should be some mutants over here. More dogs. Okay, that's done. So now we can just head on back to the clear sky base. Finish the missions here. I'm gonna have to pop another bandage because I don't want to run on one leg. And we should get a little bit of money out of this. Uh, maybe buy some more meds. Uh, actually, we're not doing that bad on meds. We're not doing good, but we're not doing bad. So I think our next priority will be buying some ammo. I do want to heal my, my leg, but... Uh, missing this entrance. But I don't want to uh, spend the fentanyl doing it. So... I might just use a charge of uh, ibuprofen. Once we buy some, of course. <laughs> and my, I, I might even need some Hercules to, to run all the way back. Okay, the job is done. We got a stash in cordon, a glue tube, which is pretty good, and 2,800 rubles. But we can afford to buy some meds. 
And job is done here. 6,500, that's actually pretty good. And finally, the escort. We do have to wait for him to get here. Right, 6,400, another stash in Cordon, and the container, which we always need. Okay. But let's go see if we can sell some more stuff. The mechanic here, just to get a yes. bit of weight off. Uh, we can sell one set of gunsmithing tools. I don't remember if we had any at home. And uh, that's it. We do also have a titanium grid, which I would love to sell to the... To Professor Sakharov, honestly. Just because he pays a bit more for it, if I remember right. Okay, that's not that expensive. And uh, you know what? Just give me the medical assistance. Wait. Can we turn in any mutant parts? Is the question. Or morphine. Full empty. I wouldn't sell a full empty even if I had two of them. Fireball. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have anything to sell. I could honestly buy a Yadlin just to, to turn it in. How much is it? 1,000 for mission. You know what? Что ж, если это все, то я, пожалуй, займусь своей работой. Where is it? It's at the tower, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, we also have the anomalous study here. So I think I'm gonna go through Cordon then garbage, and then head over to Agroprom and hopefully finish the rest of the missions there. Uh, it's gonna get dark, so I might have to stop in Cordon and uh, take a nap there. But uh, all in all, we should be fine. We also have a headlamp. I didn't have enough parts to upgrade to a night vision. But with a bit more looting, we'll get there. And honestly, if we get some more bullets, if we fix the shotgun, uh, I think I will go to Agroprom Underground as well. The only thing I'm scared about there is... Um, uh, I don't know if you see... I, I If you saw... But I did uh, do kind of a little guide on Agroprom, and the next one that will come be coming up is the Miracle Machine. But I did get pretty uh, heavily damaged in the guide I met with the Brewer, and that's kind of what I'm afraid of uh, here. With, I, I wouldn't want to take on a Brewer in close range in a close space with just an MP5. I prefer to have something a bit more damaging. So, um, I, I really want to fix up the shotgun first, or maybe, maybe even the AK. We're starting to get a little bit of ammo for it, so um, once we patch that thing up, it should be really cool. Although we'll still probably by to default to a shotgun simply because uh, the bullets are much less expensive. Okay, there's nothing here, so let's uh, let's head over to the meadow where there's an anomaly study. It should be pretty easy. Meadows is uh, not very populated, so we shouldn't have any problems. So, oh, I will uh, move through Cordon, and I'll see you all there, I think.
Okay, so here we are in the meadows. You guys want anything? I'm gonna do a little passport check real, real quick. Um, I might just cut away the whole cordon run because um, I honestly didn't uh, really do anything. I just ran through it as fast as possible. All I did was uh, I stopped, bought a little bit of ammo with the money we still have had left over. And I also took a mission to deliver a package to uh, Rostock since it's going to be in our way anyway. Okay. I wanted to make sure there's nothing left in the houses, but apparently they're both empty. We are getting a little sleepy and it will get dark soon. We climb here. Perfect. Okay, um, I'm guessing... the annoying part when you have uh, multiple of these is that uh, they're each for a different mission. But we gotta have, we, we have to see which one of them starts counting up. It's probably the one that's at 100% because it's the freshest one. There we go. Yep. Plus, one of them is actually our personal one, which we started up with. Which can be useful to, to see how close you are to a certain anomaly, uh, but uh, honestly just swapping between it and, uh, and the detector can get really annoying. Okay, so that was a mission for your sky all the way there. Yeah, I'll do it another time. Right now, let's go finish delivering the package to Rostock. And uh, then I'll head over to Agroprom, I think. Actually, we should visit the base just because we're very full with the inventory, so... Head to Rostock, then Army Warehouse's Dead City, and then we'll start moving towards uh, Agroprom. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so here we are in Rostock. I ended up just straight up running through garbage. And uh, we just have to turn in, in this uh, mission to the barman. Nothing will respond. And the job is done. Both of them. Ooh. Another stash in army warehouses. That's That's pretty good. Okay, um, any other things we have here? Oh, we do need to um, er, deliver that package, because that's why we initially came here, right? So let's see what else we have here. Kill missions, no. Turn in, anything? A zombie hand, that's basically for free, and it's right here. Free dog tails. Oh, 
Okay. Anomalous study in the Great Swamp. Um, I'm gonna head back there at some point, so might as well take it. And that's gonna be it. So let's turn this mission in to Barman. Where are you? There you go. A zombie hand. Stop. Wonderful. I mean, it has a chance to give us uh, a stash, which is amazing. And dog tails. Mm. Gonna try and hurry this up just because uh, it's it's starting to get dark, and I would like to get home um, by the time it does. I don't really want to sleep in Rostock, right? Okay, 3,000 for free dog tails. Don't sell stuff to butchers friends, yeah, to butcher friends. Just just keep it for missions. It ends up paying so much more. Uh alright, we delivered the package, got some vodka, got some more money. And we can start moving towards Dead City. We also got a stash in army warehouses, so let's see where that is. Mm. Oh, we also have to deliver a PDA. You know what? I'm gonna go do that real quick, and then I'll come back, go to army warehouses, and head to Dead City. They're definitely fighting something over there. Alright, it's a good thing I upgraded the backpack, because we are very over-encumbered. Well, we're not over-encumbered, but we are very heavy right now. If we didn't have all these good mutant belts, uh, we would have probably been uh, way overweight. What you kill? A zombie? I'm sure, I'll take a zombie hand. Okay, we did just get a mission update, and uh, I really, really hope our mission giver didn't uh, die. Ah, he's alive. You are a merc, right? But I'd rather not fight bandits right now. Oh, perfect. Another stash in the army warehouses. Lucky strikes, that's amazing. Okay, and... Uh, I could have asked him to be part of my escort, but uh, apparently that option disappeared. Ooh, a sparkler on the dead stalker. Let's put that in a case. Any other dead guys around here? I'm not sure how this guy died. Oh, yeah. Didn't see this one. An M4. Uh, I, I'm not really interested in it. But let's just drop down and we can uh, run back to... Uh, to Rostock and through army warehouses. And we can go all the way back home. Right. Um, also, did I leave my Seva suit here? Let's see if we can pick that up and uh, maybe I can... Uh, Bring a Hercules, because we do have two of them, and that should uh, keep us running even while overweight. Just want to do a quick check, still no one wants to join. Oh yeah, I did leave a lot of stuff here. 
So uh, let's just uh, see if we can grab everything. Oh, that's that's a lot of meat. How long does a Hercules last? Almost ten minutes. Okay, I think we can. Uh, I think we should be able to work with that. Just keep running, just keep running. Okay, let's just keep on running. Just because I... You never know what you might find here. There's usually some bandits over to the left. I'm gonna switch to FMJ. Safe here, so we can switch back. Oh, that's that's a blood sucker. Okay, that went much better than I expected. Okay, I'm gonna go around this truck, it's very irradiated. And uh, I can actually have a talk just to clear that up. We actually have something to boost the rat resist, a little bit at least. Um, no. We're just gonna have to bear through it with it. I don't know what I mean. There's a stash here. Okay, we can grab that. Oh, that's pretty crap. Let's just disassemble both of these. And we should be good. Right. No, привет. Do you want to join? No. How about you? Oh, no luck, unfortunately. We'll have 20 seconds of rad resistance. Oh. That sounds like a chimera. I wouldn't mind killing one, actually. There he is. Okay. Just do the Chimera dance now. And 
And we got him. Oh. oh. Wouldn't mind killing a bloodsucker. But I I can't really hear where it is. And I should probably have another of these because there's gonna be a lot of rads here. Oh incredible amount of rads. Uh, they should go away after we get behind the bus. It's the one bad thing about being up front. No women. Oh, also, forgot to put this on. Okay, let's see. Gotta plan my path from here, cause uh, honestly, Dead City at night is not a place I want to be. We have 40 seconds to make it home before the Hercule Hercules runs out. I'm just gonna try to leg it all the way there, and hopefully nothing catches us along the way. Come on, just a bit more. Whew, okay, we made it. Wow. Alright, so... Um, I should check if I can make this uh, AK-74 work. But for now, I'm just gonna throw everything in the stash. Um, yeah, including the artifacts. And the meat. And these five bottles of vodka. Um, artifact melter. Ooh, advanced tools. I'll keep these out. Maybe I need to trade them into a uh, mechanic. I should sell these. And anything else I need to get rid of? Yes. All of this. This can be disassembled at this point. And you know what? I think I'll just sell these. And I'll also sell the titanium grid, honestly. It's not uh, that good. Oh! That's plus, plus five, that's not bad. But honestly, this should be enough. Right, um, this does only have two belt slots, which completely sucks. I'm gonna have to decide what I'm gonna wear, but I will disassemble this and we do get one upgrade back. And we can actually put some upgrades on this. Correction, we can actually put an upgrade on this. <laughs> right. Um, oh, we're, we don't have a medium repair kit anymore. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit, that is, that's expensive. Right, and I'm gonna need another... There they are. And one of these. That should be enough for now. Also, I should grab something that I can uh, help repair with. Someone's fighting something over there. I have no idea what's happening over there. It sounds kind of like snorks. Okay, so I used basically everything. And I'm not sure who was shooting who, but I'm... I'm sure we'll find the body tomorrow. <laughs> okay, nasty specimen of Chimera that haunts the Red Forest. I will take this mission. Um... And I, I did hear a roar, and it didn't sound like a bloodsucker roar. I'll take this mission, but I won't do it for a while, so... Uh, I, I'd still like to have it, though. Okay, scouting expedition. No, that's not for us. Capture documents in Yantar. Yes, please. Free stashes. Yes. And finally, let's see what we can turn in. Definitely not my Chimera hide. <laughs> Radiation patch? Sure. And that's it, unfortunately. Where is the guy that wants them? Hey, wake up. Got, I got your shit. <laughs> right, we got a storm, stone blood, which immediately starts to irradiate us. also drop the tapeworm and uh, uh, we should make some upgrades but until then we'll put back our chimera hide on and uh, kind of torn between the boar hide and the pseudo dog fur the thing is the boar hide also gives us carry weight so we'll put it on and it should be fine. Let's assemble all of these. We're close to being able to make a grizzly detector, which is pretty great. And we could have made a night vision if I um, had didn't use my copper wires. We're basically good on equipment. Come back when you remember English. And these things cost a lot, but uh, if we get two more steel wool and two of these. We could probably repair our AK, which would be pretty cool. Can we make a light armor kit? No, we can't. <laughs> right, what we can do is we can make at least one metal box to put our stuff in. 
which I definitely will do. And that will be it. Wait, is this better than the boar skin? Also gives a stamina recovery, which is pretty amazing. I'm I'm willing to take this over a boar skin. Yeah, also reduces radiation by a little bit. Okay, and with all that said, let's go take a nap. <sighs> Apparently we also have... is that a main mission down there? Cool! The job's done. Oh, it was the commando raid! So, someone killed the monolith guys and we got 10,000 rubles for free, which is amazing, and a stash right here in Dead City. So our next mission will be to meet with... Oh, and it's a yellow stash. Next mission is to meet with Sidorovich, which means we can also take a package to Corden. Tell you, I hear that. You guys sleeping? Hmm. I hear that crap going off at night. I can't sleep. I don't think I slept But like we will months. go through Agropom first, I think. Okay, so let's check on the task board once more. See if anything new popped up. What are those guys fighting over there? Oh, it's it's a chimera. Oh, they killed it. Or was it the lurker? This is a lurker. And yes, it was a chimera, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, none of, none of the mercs died. There's more fighting happening out here. This is from last night. That's a lot of snorks. And I would like to get a lot of snork hands. Oh, it's too decayed. Ah, oh, damn it. Since we're here, we might as well uh, go loot that uh, golden stash as well. We have to be a bit careful. There are chimeras wandering around sometimes. This little area. And there it is. Okay. Advanced tools, another suit. So I'm gonna say kinda pretty useless. So let's just head back. Let's finish 
uh, checking our missions right now. Eliminate targets, that's not for us. Deliver package to wild and wasn't there one to Corden. We'll take that one because we're gonna have to visit Sidorovic anyway. Other than that, I think that was it. Unless there's something else in the stash I didn't pick up. Don't know who I have to take these board shops to, but... Or, I guess. <laughs> okay. Old carrier, cold lever. Let's see if the mechanic doesn't have one. A shotgun would make a pretty big difference for us. Myself, I don't really like shotguns, but uh, I'm not going to say no if I find the parts for one. Unfortunately, there are no parts for it. 6,000. Two of these, 8,000. Okay, we can make an army rifle kit, though. But I think I will leave that for next episode. So... We'll finish this one right here. So let's do a quick recap. We started out in uh, swamps. Uh, we did a few missions around there, got a little bit of money. And then we came back up <clears throat> um, all the way to Rostock and uh, picked up our stash from there. And finally went to army warehouses, dealt with the Bloodsucker, dealt with the Chimera. And back to Dead City. And uh, we do have a few new things that uh, will be very useful. We got the Seva bodysuit, which isn't really fully upgraded yet. I would love for it to be. Uh, I would like... Mm, these two upgrades would be amazing. And the red one over here. But uh, I'm, I'm willing to take anything at this point. That as well. Um, but it is a little bit better than what we have. What we had, we also fixed the Ruby uh, SSP-99 suit, which is pretty amazing. This should help with... Uh, this should help a little bit with uh, anomaly hunting, which is our job in the end. Oh, and I can actually upgrade it once, which is amazing. I would like to get some more upgrades for it, especially this one. If we can build one of these upgrades, that would be perfect. Because I'm not sure we can take Kovalev's uh, laptop without it. Right. Um, and we also have enough stuff to actually make an army rifle kit. And we should be able to fix our AK by next episode. But uh, yeah, this is uh, starting to look up. We managed to gather a lot of artifacts, which I will take and sell to um, Professor Sakharov in, in Yandar. Uh, oh, we have a lot of stashes in there. That's going to be awesome to visit. Uh, and... For next episode, we will start heading south, we'll, we have to go through Cordon, and we will try taking out the Agroprom Underground. Hopefully, we're geared enough to do it. Now that I have an actual Seva bodysuit, I'm a little bit more confident that we should be able to. But yeah, this was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and as always, I'll see you all next time.